Hello Capricorn and welcome to your November 2021 reading. So I've manifested, I've manifested on your energy. All right. I've meditated on your energy. And uh, what Spirit wanted to talk to you about, the first card that I have is the Three of Sword. So right off the bat, you're entering the month, let's say very conscious of your disappointments and your hurts and maybe hurting yourself a little bit also with past disappointments, hurts and so on. After that, I have the Eight of Pentacles. So here we see that there's a change from Three of Swords to, okay, this is where I am actually going to invest myself. I'm putting my energy on my life, on what I'm producing, on what I'm manifesting, okay? And here I have the Queen of, of Cups at the end. There's this let's say, readjustment of the waters that are in your cup. You look at the Queen of Cups and she's looking at her cup. And if she's looking at her cup and she's seeing this, this can turn out to be very handicapping, okay? Under our Three of Swords, I have the Five of Swords. So this is very... Um, you know, the Five of Swords, this is when we're using our mind to try and, and win, win debates, win, um, I was right, you did that, and so on, okay? And try and defeat the other in order to um, gain. And in this case, gain that Three Swords are not in your heart anymore, and that does not work. Under that, I have the High Priestess and the Five of Cups. The thing is that there's this sadness that rendered a way of thinking within yourself where uh, maybe you can see how you can maybe hurt others due to that pain. Uh, or just watch people do that and it hurts you. Under our Eight of Pentacles, I have the Two of Pentacles and I have the Queen of Swords. And this month, Capricorn, you have Venus in your sign. Venus is the card of love, uh, the card, the planet of love, of unconditional love and abundance. So it's normal that it's going to come and shine a light on you and everything that is not unconditional love and abundance whether it is memories grudges things that are vibrating within ourselves or in our life the light is going to be shown on it okay it's going to stick out like a sore thumb and here juggling you're going to be conscious of what is preventing you to be completely invested in the in your own growth. Queen of Sword, all about the perception and how you read things around you. Queen of Sword, Queen of Cups, based on your emotional baggage. Under the Queen of Cups, we have Knight of Wands. And here is where you're getting it at the end of the month. The full Scorpio new moon uh, month, the, the Scorpio month spectrum. We have death, we have the tower, and we have the magician. Okay? And so every time, let's say you try to manifest something, Capricorn, and it turned out to be five of cups, three of swords, uh, or five of swords, again, going from one to another or whatever, you're going to be very conscious of it this month. And the tower here is like a lightning that's going to strike all of that down so that you can let it die. Because it's impossible to reach your goal, the goal of your soul, to manifest wholly having these things 
within you. And they can be old sadnesses because it's time to let go of the old wounds. Scorpio, death, that's what death does. It clears out what no longer is needed, what has given what it should give so that life can always continue. And that goes with our story also. Stories that we don't need to have anymore. Let's clarify. I call upon the divine. I call upon the light. I call upon the Holy Spirit. Help me clarify for Capricorn for the month of November 2021, Spirit. Capricorn. Okay, Tree of Swords. Show me the Tree of Sword for Capricorn. Okay, there you are. With Page of Pentacle, Five of Wands. This is like if there was this new seed, this new beginning, there's full of conflict around it. And this is just reminding you of all the sadness and the things that did not work. And there's fighting here. Okay, five of wands, five of sword. Not just a tug of war of willpowers, but also there can be some very harsh words, strategy, and things like that happening at the same time. Five of cups, these three fives. Fives are distortions. And they are um, Gibura in the... A tree of life here in the Kabbalistic tree of life and the planet that rules Gibura is Saturn again like you so if there's a karma to be uh, pushed on so that it can release itself it's gonna be there and that's the number five here in this case immature willpower i i i want this this and, you know five of swords and focusing on the sadness and the grieving five of cups not the letting go fight for the bones i'm going somewhere else and i think that um maybe there's a situation that's going to become very um, obvious of that this month let's look at your eight of pentacle eight of pentacle for capricorn Okay, here we have death, because of course we're in the month of Scorpio, you know. And here I have the Page of Wands and the Six of Pentacle. And the Six of Pentacle, see the difference between uh, fighting, having that pentacle that can go anywhere with all these fives. Here with the Page of Wands, it's like, okay, I'm, I'm enthusiastic and I understand the balance of things. I'm focusing my energy, I'm seeing results, and I am allowing myself to be in this beautiful balance of only giving my overflow. That means no expectation, but at the same time being able to receive with no expectations either. Six of Pentacles, when the universe is balanced because it is passing through us here. What was in your way um, I think it's going to be addressed and finally crumbled down. Queen of Cups. I have the Hermit. And yes, it's finally going to be crumbled down because here is the world. Eight of Cups. You're releasing 
all of this is to release that old sadness that created these ways of doing. And here I am, the King of Pentacles. Uh, and the King of Pentacles, of course, it's you. It's your capacity to bring a quality of life and growth and prosperity in that beautiful Venus-ruled King of Pentacles. Uh, Eight of Cups, the world. Queen of Cups. I'm looking at my emotional vibration and I am deciding that there's more out there and that's where I'm going. And I think an event this month is going to show you that if I keep this within me, I cannot manifest what I want and I'm releasing it. You're making a decision. Uh, a big decision. Here, let's look at your Five of Sword. Five of Sword. We have the Queen of Sword and we have the Queen of Wands. All working with the perception and the love attraction here. Defeatness and, and, and trying to uh, either people doing this or you doing it just out of survival when because of the perception you have of things and what you have attracted towards you because of where you were vibrating emotionally. High Priestess. The High Priestess, it's that part of us, that capacity that we have to hear cosmic intelligence within ourselves. And here it's talking about that sadness inside of you. Okay? And you're getting it. Ace of Swords. Here I have the Four of Pentacles. That made you, or that made you attract people that were very closed up. That weren't, this is trying to remain safe into what we have because we don't trust. Removing the trust. And with all these swords and this old sadness, I understand. Here, two of pentacles. Two of pentacles, two of cups, eight of swords. These cards have been coming up also for Sagittarius and Scorpio. I think that the month of November will be an extremely strong month to release stuff. And here, juggling when it comes to people because you're in your head about it because you can't trust them so but ultimately that means you can't trust yourself okay so um because maybe they there was some heartaches and betrayals in the past queen of sword and if when you look at the outside world other people you see them from that then it's hard five of pentacle four of cups yeah there's there's these big issues here uh, this is what i've always happened to me it always been unfair it always been like this I don't see how it would be better in the future. And all of this is inside of you in the invisible part, Capricorn. And you're projecting it into the visible part. That's why you got to release that emotional baggage because it's like a machine inside of you sending a vibration that is changing your matrix. So by releasing it, you are actually, and first of all, at the beginning of the month, you're seeing the truth of it. And then you're going to actually, with the tower and death, let it crumble and die. Whoop. All right. Three of cups again. Ten of swords. Yes, because all of these swords, we have to finish them so that we don't juggle anymore. And here is a beautiful four of ones. Four of ones like the bottom of the deck. So I can be happy, so I can, there's nothing happening behind the scene, nobody's trying to screw anybody, we're just happy, I'm rising my emotions, because I don't have that old thing always dragging everything into that perspective, and therefore creating my matrix, my reality out of it. So here, three major arcanas, right there, that cluster at the end of the month. 
because you're finishing world fourth major arcana here and apart from that you have the high priestess so it's that and and you of course uh, the devil so because of that voice that you're gonna hear at the beginning of the month or maybe you heard it uh, last month this is going to be the outcome and here I have the magician again so you know when I said that I manifested out of your energy maybe you're going to be manifesting a lot and here is a ten of pentacle you're going to start manifesting something that is solid long term like creating this whole new cycle in your life magician manifesting happiness and joy manifesting differently that's for sure so if you were stuck in a certain way this new way of manifesting it's because you're understanding with enthusiasm how to invest yourself in a balanced manner and not perceive things from your past abandonment and rejection not supported sacrifices with no result and limited emotional experience out of that you're breaking free from this and you can some of you can be breaking also a very you know bloodline karma here that was repeated from one generation to another with the ten of pentacle so you can be free of manifesting so you can be free to manifest you so on this my beautiful capricorn um i'm gonna call this manifestation manifesting and so on this thank you for watching sharing commenting and please subscribe to help grow the the channel if you want a private reading the description is below there's an email you write to me i write to you back thank you also for the ones of you who gave donations this month, the new moon is on the 4th of November, of course, new moon in Scorpio um, to help release and purify what needs to be released and purify for our betterment. And so I will do a little ceremony on this new moon to give you back. And on that, all my love and light, and I'll see you next month.